Good morning. We're going to do this beautiful scene from Gloucester. This is Good Harbor Beach. Very iconic scene. Everybody's seen it. Everybody loves it. All right, we'll start with the drawing. Again, very light with your pencil. This is a 4B pencil. That's a very soft and easy to erase. It will not damage your paper. Uh, so I'm placing, I'm not really drawing here. I'm just placing the shapes. That's the top of the, that is, that's the whole lighthouse. I mean, that's the whole building there in the background. And I'm just, you know, I'm just sort of placing the shapes to see how they fit on my paper. Okay, everybody's size is gonna be different, so. So just take your time, hold your pencil very lightly, and just place shapes on your paper where you think they're gonna fit. And if they don't, you can easily erase them. You can really, you know, make changes that you need. All right, that's that piece of land in the back with the house on it. There's three layers of land here, if you can see the house, the rocks, and then the foreground. All right, that's the stuff in the background. So that whole piece is in the background. It's gonna be very light in, in value. The rocks here that we're, I'm doing right now just placing the shape again i'm not drawing no details just very light shape there's a piece of uh beach there all right there's the rocks there's the rocks okay all right there's the trees that are on top of those rocks and those, that's all going to be in front of that background land. And then there's the, the base of the rocks and that curve where the water is. Now I'm going back <clears throat> with a little sharpen my pencil, a little more detail in these, uh, in that house. I just want to check, make sure I got it the right size, see how it all works. Or sort of a watch room on top there. Big, beautiful house overlooking the ocean, overlooking Good Harbor Beach. Very beautiful. Okay, you can see it, there it is. There's the light, there's the, uh, I keep calling it a lighthouse. <laughs> uh, there's that beautiful house and there's that big, beautiful rock. It just sits on this land with these beautiful big rocks. on. It's, it's quite a history of that house. I wish I knew it in more detail. I'd share it with you, but I really don't. Uh, they just renovated it totally. There's the ocean in the background. And there's the base of that hillside. All right, I'm going for the rocks now. And pay attention to where the rocks, if you plumb a line down from the house, you can see where the rocks begin and you know where it all goes. Okay. A little tree there next to the house. Not a lot of detail. You know, we're gonna paint and draw again with our brush when we start painting this, so you don't have to worry about too much detail because you're gonna put it all in with the paint. Okay, there's some trees. Some rocks, I'm sorry, that's in the background. Okay, there's that piece of the rocks with the, the beach. That's a, the, a mound of sand coming down, which forms that beautiful inlet. That inlet changes tides. 
All right, let's paint this. Uh, I wet the sky first, then I dropped some cobalt blue, brought that down, then I put some uh, rose in there. I'm using a towel now to lift out some of the lights in the sky, you know, like clouds. And... All right, and some Windsor blue here. I'm gonna paint that water while we have it. All right, just very loose, you know, let it come down. It's reflecting the sky, so, you know, let it, let it drip down if you want to. All right, there's a piece of water where it comes in, you know, with tides go in and out, it leaves these pools. And this, this, what you're looking at, this inlet, you know, is, is really, it's, it's kind of hot tide right now, but it goes down to very low water. So I gave it a spray. Um, I want that to come down uh, so it looks like it's reflecting the sky. All right, let's go back and paint the house. Now the house, what I'm doing here is just, you know, it's just a gray silhouette against the sky. So I mixed up some cobalt blue, a little touch of rose, and a little touch of raw sienna to give you that nice gray. And you can push that either towards the rose, towards the cobalt, you know, but just paint it. It's just a silhouette, so don't, no detail in the house yet. Just the shape, the silhouette of that house against the sky. All right, and now I'm gonna paint the whole hillside, that back hillside, pretty much the same color. Uh, I will go in and change the value a little bit, but I wanna just establish that whole shape. And it's, remember, it's a nice gray, it's in the background, so uh, we're gonna push it in the background because this is gonna dry much lighter, and then when we put these rocks and trees, that's gonna be much darker. So it'll really push this all back, and that's what we want. We want to create some nice distance in our painting. So we'll paint that whole shape. Okay, there it is. It's all going back nicely. I'm going to paint that tree and close, give you a little close up on it. Now, what I did was I took that gray color and I just added a little raw sienna to it to create that greenish gray tree. And I'll use that color underneath that on the top of that hillside. Another tree here. And I'm just dropping some of that color in where the grass is on that, you know, on that hillside. If you look at that photo closely, you'll see there's some nice, uh, some nice dark grass in there. All right, I'm just painting around those rocks and I'll bring that down. Don't worry about the, you know, anything else. Just paint this. I'm bringing it down, and there's, there's rocks on the towards the bottom. So I'm just gonna, you know, sort of suggest paint around that. And there's a nice uh, darker curve to, as it meets the sand. Okay. Now I'm going in and just drawing some cracks in those rocks and defining it, defining them a little bit more for you. All right, okay. All right, this is very dark. I'm painting these dark rocks that are down towards the water. So it's ultramarine and quinciana primarily. You can add some raw sienna to it, but just establish that line, that's the water line as it meets the water and then just above that line I'm, I'm putting a stronger line of uh, quinciana very deep rich warm color and then above that I'm adding some raw sienna and then on the top of the rocks I'm just adding cobalt blue and I'm just letting it all wash down right down into the darks So if you want to, you can take a credit card or some kind of straight edge 
and just very lightly squeegee against squeegee that you know just uh, you want to you're using the texture of the paper here to create a texture on the rocks okay so it's just very lightly mixed up some uh, ultramarine blue and iridium yellow. If it's too bright, add a little raw sienna to it. And if you want it brighter, you can add a little bit of Windsor blue to it and that'll give you a brighter, brighter green. So these are the trees on the piece of land where the rocks are. So uh, it's, you know, you want to bring it down to the rocks and I, I screwed up there. I, I uh, got a piece of it in the background. So I'm just going in with some water really to lighten that background uh, stuff. All right, you can go in with a dark here. This is, you could, you could use the green if you want. You can mix up a, you know, a, a darker color with the uh, ultramarine and quinciana. And just bring it down into the rocks and just paint some negative shapes defining the rocks a lot better. All right, do as much detail as you want there. It's a lot of fun. Okay, now I, I just tap that uh, green with a towel to, to show the separation between the foreground trees and the back trees. All right, I'm using some, uh, a little bit of raw sienna and quinciana, and I'm just wetting that dark section of the rocks and bringing it down for re as reflections into my water here. Okay, very loose and juicy. You can see I added a little cobalt blue there because, you know, as it, as it gets away from the rocks, it begins to reflect some of the sky color. Okay. So pay attention to plumb a line down from that house. That house is just barely reflecting into the water. All right, you can see, so you just wanna get that nice reflection of the rocks, I mean, of the house on the water. You can see I'm touching that uh, uh, sienna color and dropping some of it into the house so it's there's a little mixture of the cobalt blues with the browns and gives you, gives you a nice gray. All right, so I'm just working this reflection. Nice horizontal strokes, give it a spray, keep it nice and loose. And then on the edge of that, uh, I'm just bringing that gray right over on the edge of the beach there. But there's some uh, ripples in the water here. All right, on the edge of the foreground on the land here, you can see this, if you look at the photo, there's some very dark grass. So I just mixed up some ultramarine with a really yellow, a little raw sienna, and painted it right across. And now I'm using the side of my brush uh, with that upward motion, very dry, to pull up the, uh, the grasses right over the, you know, so it's looking so you're looking up over the water. And then you can go in. Uh, you know, and fudge it up. Also, you want to uh, do the bottom of that shape. Notice I'm softening up the edge on the bottom. So, so it's, it's going down into the grass. All right, there's another boulder, big boulder on the edge of the beach there. Just painting that with the same color, ultramarine quinciana. Okay, the small one there, just if you want, just take a little light off that. With the credit card, now you're placing some, there's a bunch of stones and rocks right at the edge of those big rocks, and there's a big one in the water. Put as many as you like, but keep them different shapes, different sizes. All right, on the bottom of this beach line, as it turns down, it's still kind of wet and damp, so 
I'm just going in and putting some gray, a warm gray color across there. Show you the curve of that beach. All right, there's the ocean. I'm using uh, Windsor Blue back there. Touch of uh, Quint, a touch of ultramarine blue. Now, just a wet. That was just a wet brush. Just uh, water on the top of the ocean to soften that edge. I'm going back with the shadow side of the house with that gray color, basically the same color, a little darker, to form this sh shadow side of that house, popping in a few windows, little dots. And I think I'll put some, put a little schooner out there in the ocean. Always nice to have a secondary point of interest. So, you know, that river leads you up to that house and then your eye goes over to the water and it's nice to have, you know, I, I like it. I put a little boat there. And of course, you gotta have a few gulls up in the sky. This is Gloucester after all. They're always there. Little bit of uh, raw sienna and I pull down the dark of the rocks into the water to create the reflections. And lastly, a little, co uh, little uh, a little bit of cadmium red mixed with cobalt blue to get that warm, dark color for the chimney on the house. Now that was really a fun painting. That's, uh, everybody paints that. So thank you for joining me. I will see you again very soon. I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.